Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. First Great Teacher, April 2 And so it was, when Jesus had ended these sayings, that the people were astonished at his teaching. Matthew seven twenty eight. It has been the custom to exalt books and authors that do not present the proper foundation for true education. From what source do these authors obtain their wisdom, a large share of which does not deserve our respect, even if the authors are regarded as being wise people? Have they taken their lessons from the greatest teacher that the world ever knew? If not, they are decidedly in the fault. Those who are preparing for the heavenly abodes should be recommended to make the Bible their chief book of study. These popular authors have not pointed out to the students the way that leads to eternal life. And this is eternal life, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. John 17, 3. The authors of the books current in our schools are recommended and exalted as learned persons. Their education is in every way deficient. Unless they themselves have been educated in the school of Christ and by practical knowledge bear witness to the word of God as the most essential study for children and youth. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Books should have been prepared to place in the hands of students that would educate them to have a sincere, reverent love for truth and steadfast integrity. The class of studies which are positively essential in the foundation of character to give them a preparation for the future life should be kept ever before them. Christ should be uplifted as the first great teacher, the only begotten Son of God, who was with the Father from the eternal ages. The Son of God was the great teacher sent to the world as the light of the world. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The Father was represented in Christ, and the attention in education must be that of character, that they will look to Him and believe in Him as the likeness of God. He had a most wonderful mission to this world, and His work was not in a line to give a full relation of His personal claims to deity, but His humiliation was a concealment of His claims. His character was a life of obedience to all God's commandments and was to be a sample for all human beings upon the earth. His life was the living of the law in humanity. Further reflection How much time do I spend each day studying God's word?